What should have been a somber occasion turned into chaos today when an unidentified male started a fight at the funeral of Masa Sera, the chairman of one of the largest Yakuza syndicates in the Tokyo area. We'll bring you further details as the story develops. Two days out of prison, you got the mob after you. Who are you? <laughs> Come on, you remember me, don't you? Kazuma? Detective Date. Fuma got shot? Yeah. I don't know if he's okay or not. Still, I'm confused. What was all that about Yumi and the 10 billion yen? I don't know. I don't believe you. Detective Date. Why did you help me out? Organized crime yet? When'd you get transferred to that? During the Dojima murder investigation. <sighs> ignored the higher-ups. Went too far. My punishment was a transfer from homicide to the organized crime unit. Deal with a shitty Yakuza. Just like you, I became the black sheep. My wife and daughter left me. I fucked my whole life up. Because of you. Kazuma, I'm investigating the hit placed on Masa Serra. You gonna help me? I owe you one. But right now, I... The Tojo clan loses 10 billion yen. The third chairman is murdered. Then you appear and all hell breaks loose. Suddenly the case is wide open. It's like all this chaos was waiting for your release. Take this. <laughs> Cell phone. Even ten-year-olds have them nowadays. I'll investigate the missing ten billion. You look for the girl, Yumi. I just know the two are related somehow. So, why don't we cooperate? I've heard worse ideas. I'm in. So, you got any leads? No. But I'll start by gathering info from an old friend of mine. She works at Serena. I see. Barkeep, we're done here. You can open the bar again. Okay. Welcome. Oh. It's been a long time, Reina. <gasps> Kazuma chan. See, I'm sorry about Fumasan. Anyway, it's just like you to surprise me like this. I'm sorry. It's good to see you, though. Hey. Reina, Oyabun told me to find Yumi. Yes? Have, have you heard anything about her? Well, after the shooting, I was told that she disappeared from the hospital. But Kazuma, about five years ago, a girl named Mizuki stopped by here. She said she was Yumi Sawamura's sister. Yumi has a sister? Yeah. But she said that Yumi didn't know anything about having a sister. Because Yumi was sent to the orphanage way before Mizuki was even born. I see. So now, where is Mizuki? That, I'm not sure of. Mizuki used to stop by quite often. Then one day, she said that she wanted to work here in the same bar that Yumi used to. She worked here for about four years. Then last year, all of a sudden, she opened her own bar. The name of her bar is... Aries. Where is it? She was supposed to tell me. 
but I haven't heard from her in a while. I tried to get a hold of her, but she changed her number. I see. You know, she looks so much like Yumi. If you met her, you'd see it right away. And she has a tattoo of a flower. Right here. Tattoo? Yumi would never do that. Definitely not. Sorry to have bothered you. Come back again anytime. I'll try to help you out any way I can, Kazuma. Thanks. You don't want to know about Nishiki? Or has someone already told you? Yeah, I've heard. Oh. I have to see it to believe it. I'm done trusting what others tell me. Hmm. By the way, Kazuma, do you know the Millennium Tower? It was built five years ago. Right behind the tower, there's a small bar. And the bartender there knows the business well, and has a lot of contacts. When a new bar opens, he'll know about it for sure. He probably knows where Ares is. What's the name of the bar? Bacchus. for my mother. I went everywhere and I heard about this bar. What's your name, little girl? Never mind. Let's get out of here. Bullseye! You fucked that mud up, yo! Man, you're ruthless! Just killed the damn thing already! Alright, my turn now. Stop! Please stop! Huh? Ah! Yulchan! Are you alright? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Today's been a very bad day, and it's put me in a real shitty mood. What? Just your bad luck to have run into me. Oh, yeah? I think you're the unlucky one, old man. just happened. 